We have these two rules that we use at Focus Brands. One rule is if we don't, our competition will. Right. So that's about fueling the entrepreneurial spirit mm -hmm. and expansion and growth and risk taking. Right. But the other side of that is just because we can does not mean we should. So we right. try to use those two bumpers in the bowling alley to keep us yeah. from going astray. Yeah, it's funny. We, we had um, a partnership with a brand that was a great brand and they decided to open up in a, in a market that we knew wasn't exactly right for us, but they sort of said, you know, well, you're our partner. And if you don't do it, somebody else is going to do it. And we really, we really want you to yeah. do it. And we did. We were there for about two years, and then we decided it probably wasn't right for us. <laughs> so. What about things that you've done that you thought were going to be easy, but turned out to be not so much? We don't have really a franchise model. So we develop everything ourselves. We manage everything ourselves. And so when you go to places like Europe or South America, where the culture can be so different, so yeah. we used to have, we used to have a bar and restaurant in Madrid. You know, going over to Madrid and trying to understand that culture, it's very different great than city. the States. Beautiful city, and, and it was a great business, but it, it's very different to understand that you're paying people with salaries as opposed to hourly. And on it's, contract a lot of times. Yes, on contract. It's very different the way the Europeans were very used to drinking, you know, I'll have a whiskey and Coke. They, they had never seen, you know, a bar like this, so we would have to kind of introduce them to that stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So I remember in terms of things that you think would be easy and logical and being incredibly difficult. I remember taking over Cinnabon as the president. So I thought when I came on board and built a team and spent time with the franchisees that the few quick wins we identified would be so obvious, so logical. Sure. And I came in all fired up and excited and saying, we're going to launch these delicious beverages and launch mini bonds and it's going to be great. And they were like, not so fast, lady. Right. <laughs> and, and it made it, um, it was really humbling to remember that just because you can get a great team aligned and excited, there are always additional stakeholders in the business that right. you've just got to bring along with you in order for them to help sell in the idea. And uh, so I learned that lesson the hard but way. So, how'd you, so that was like getting beyond the trust me, this is the right thing. So how, how did you yeah. do that? Um, it was interesting, so we actually decided instead of trying to get the entire system, the whole ship, to turn, we just went with the coalition of the willing. Right. So we said, which franchise partners kind of see what we're trying to do and buy in, let's make it um, fruitful for them to move early. So we made it worth their time, and then when we had the quick wins, we just celebrated their success. Right. And, and then it's easy, then everybody wants to jump That's on right. the bandwagon. Then there was a pull. Yeah. <laughs> Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Downey from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.